contrary to popular belief, and I will say that again, contrary to popular belief, I really respect and I admire Black YouTube, soul brothers and sisters on YouTube from the very beginning. I admire and I respect. I don't have to agree with your ideology. I don't have to agree with your belief. I don't have to even like your video. But what social media has done for us that we as a people or a group of persons, what social media has done for us for the first time in our almost 500 year history, social media, the internet has given us voice. At one time, if you did not have the newspaper, the literature, if you did not control the literature, the books, the religion, the radio or the television, you had no voice. So your opinion could not be heard, regardless to whether that belief or that opinion is, is accepted or not accepted. So this is wonderful that the black man and woman in America, soul brothers and sisters, it is a wonderful tool. It is a wonderful thing that now we have an opportunity to share our voice with others in what we call civilized society. It gives us all opportunity. Some of us are very, very talented. We've never been to a school of journalism. We've never went to a college, university to, to study uh, film or uh, journalism or any of these things. But some of us are natural. And we make wonderful films. We make wonderful documentaries and uh, commentary. And some of us, we've grown on Facebook and uh, YouTube and other places, and we've made names out of ourselves. And we have reached fame, some of us fortune, the same type of notoriety that many who uh, are on CBS and NBC, CNN, and uh, television. Some have actually gone from YouTube to uh, the movies and uh, some of these news programs. And I must applaud us as it's always been there, but when you don't have opportunity, and you don't control opportunity, then you cannot, as they say in the army, you can't be all you can be. However, with fame and fortune, there's a positive side where we embrace the admiration of our followers of those who admire us, the money and uh, the influence and uh, these type of things. But there's another side. The same thing that makes you is the same thing that can break you. Our lust, our obsession with money, our lust for the human body, our lust and our wanting to be accepted and praised, those things can corrupt us from what we were when we was 
poor, when we were uneducated, when we were a nobody, it takes us from who and what we really was to some type of machine, some type of product. So when you sign a record contract, you lose some of your humanity because you become a product. And nobody cares about your feelings. Nobody cares about you as a human being. You are a product. You are something to sell. You're something to laugh at. You're something to mock at. Or you can make me cry. You become a product. And so there are many who are happy to see the fall and the and the uh, self destruction of our poor young brother. I don't believe. I think he's just a little over. He's a little over thirty years old now. This poor young man who came from a humble beginning, in and out of jail, part of gangs, and raised himself through some type of knowledge, and that knowledge was eagerly eaten up and the people were hungry for what he had to offer and it raised him to this level of fame and uh, uh, fortune and praise. And now that same process is bringing him and he's, he's gone down into the abyss. The same hype that you created, you believe it. You believe the product that you created. Instead of being the person that you was, you lost yourself somewhere down the road. I remember I reached out to him before this awesome rise into stardom. And I warned him and another young brother, young Marcus, they were on, on uh, Sarnetta TV together, young Marcus and young Farrah. I warned those brothers and tried to give them a heads up on what could be. I don't know and we don't know what happened to young Marcus, but we know that young Farrah raised up out of Sarnetta TV into big business, able to raise millions and thousands and millions of, of dollars. Before this, I reached out to him to warn him what to expect in this path. I never did hear from him. Of course, he's not going to uh, care about a brother who represents reality. He's talking about aliens and comedic stuff or whatever. I also reached out to him to give him advice on his legal affairs, of which he has a little knowledge, but I think I have a little bit more than he does since I was able to uh, file my own paperwork to actually release myself from a precarious situation. I admire this young man. I, I like his his documentary on the Nation of Islam was excellent. It would have been more better had he talked to somebody like myself or film producer Omar Shabazz, those of us who actually was in the nation. Uh, the documentary would have had more uh, validity, been more credible with those who actually walk that path. In the meantime, young Farrell has uh, put himself out there and I guess he's done, I don't know exactly what he's done for the people except become some type of master teacher, uh, another preacher, wonderful preacher, that's all, just basically a preacher. And just like a preacher, you know, I, I'm going to ask you for donations and gain 
you know, thousands, thousands of dollars just because I, I, I talk and make you feel good. Uh, a, 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 a pimp, basically. Making you promises I do not intend to keep. So, young Pharaoh asked the people for money for his legal defense for a case that was already done. We don't know what happened to the money. The case was over. So there was no, there was nothing to pay for. Young Farrell was represented by the public defender's office. You don't pay the public defender office. Young Farrell also promised to open up daycare centers to help single mothers, low income daycare center. We don't see, and he does not and never stops speaking about the daycare center. Also, he raised close to a million dollars. I'm going to sue Google for it because Google is oppressing black people, messing with me. Uh, the courts threw his lawsuit out, cost him a little bit of money, and he never... Now he's on a self-destructive path because he has nothing else to do. And his personal drama with his baby mama just threw him for a loop. And there's also the possibility of drug use. But just because you're famous, just because you have money, just because you have notoriety and all these different things, do not make you smart. Does not make you wise. Matter of fact, if we were more wise and more smart, some of our brothers and sisters, some of our great people could have been even greater, but they allow that which caused them to rise, bring them down. The inability to think, we allow our emotions to destroy us. Michael Jackson is a perfect example. Look how Michael died famous all over the all over the world he died basically a legal drug addict you had prince that died because of drugs whitney houston died look how these people die look how they go down muhammad ali would not stop boxing and then he his last days he suffered with that brain disorder Look how we, you would think that people are, with so much going on, they would not. Look how they leave this earth. And now we have our poor young brother, young Pharaoh, sitting in jail. And he talks about, I can't pay my bail. After having all these thousands and thousands of dollars, he can't pay what what was it like nine thousand dollars in bail over over nonsense because he's doing things that's outside of what caused him to rise it's it's really sad so now he makes the news now he becomes a subject a topic to speak on nobody cares about his teachings and nobody care, cares about all those things that caused him to be who he was. Now, baby mama drama, is he doing drugs? Now he's in jail. So that is why it is important. And that's why we've taken on the theme here on the Realities Temple. After the purge, after the hurt and the pain, comes the healing. And that's what I would wish upon young Pharaoh before it's too late. I don't want to see him go out so young. We offer him healing.